So we've came down to the time to where we are going to dehydrate. And like I mentioned, this is the first time we've ever done this. So we've just got a small batch uh, to give it a try. And if it turns out, we'll know by this afternoon if it turns out. And if it does, then we're going to head out and pick some more corn. Because I would rather process it than it go to waste. So that's what we're going to do. So basically, it's how it works. You're going to do the same process as if you were going to freeze it on the cob or off the cob. So this corn has been washed and it's waiting. Uh, the water is coming to a boil here. So as soon as it comes to a boil, I'm going to put the corn in. The corn goes in for five to six minutes. I'm going to take it out, put it in ice cold water for six minutes, and we're going to cut it off the cob, and then we're going to put it in the dehydrator. So here's the dehydrator, and it's going to be used here in a little while, and we're going to set it at 125. So there's that setting, and from the book, it's showing that it's showing that in our area, dependent. I mean, you see the six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and that has to do with how long it needs to dehydrate, depending on the area that you live and the season it is. So for us right now, we are 10 hours, I'm pretty sure, but I'm going to double check on that as far as how long to do that. So we can turn to the front and double so check that. So here is how we can reference that. So this is July. So actually we are in the green. So I was incorrect on that. So it looks like about nine hours, give or take, but we'll check it as we go as well. So. Okay, the water has finally got ready, so we're going to put the corn in. And a thing to remember is that as you put the corn in, the water is going to lose its boil. Um, but that's okay. You don't want to wait for the water to come to a boil before you uh, start timing the corn because the water is already really hot. So we're going to put this in there, and we are going to start the timer. And I'm going to start it for six minutes. And so now we're going to get the water ready. Is it all going to fit? so we've got that in there so we're gonna set the timer and we are gonna let this um, go for six minutes in the cold so set the timer here okay okay so the corn is cold so we're gonna start cutting it off the cob now and then once we get it all cut off the cob we'll then pull out our shelving here and stick this in the dehydrator yeah yeah Squirting on it. You just shot something over my laptop. Yeah, that's corn juice. There are tools out there that can cut it off the cob faster, but for me, I think this is easier. Um, we had tried a few last year when we had processed. A lot of corn and I don't know we tried it and my husband and I both went back to pulling out our knives because it was just basically okay, so faster. we have all the corn cut off the cob now so I'm gonna start pulling out the trays for um, the dehydrator and we're gonna put the corn on the trays there and then we're gonna stick them back in so let me this out so here's our trays we've got this over top here to put the corn on and so when we put the corn on is what we're going to do is we're going to break it up into the kernels and I'll show you that how that's going to look okay so I still this is what I've put in the tray so far and as you can see I've got it spread out so we want to keep it spread out so it'll dry and um, this is what's still left from the corn that I had cooked earlier so we're gonna, what we're going to do is as we fill this up we're going to take the trays and then they insert just right into the dehydrator here. So we're going to insert it in there and then I'm going to keep filling it up and then we'll start the dehydrator. And we'll put this one in here. Okay. So 
All the corn is done. Corn is done, so it's time to put the top on here. And the great thing about the Excalibur is it just kind of sits on there. So there's nothing fancy about that. And as I mentioned, it's going to sit at 125. So let me move this monster around here because it is big. So here's our settings. And the great thing, I mean, yeah, we have the book as well. But for a quick reference, Excalibur is great about putting this. But we're going to put it at 125. And you can hear it start kicking up there. And we're going to let it go for around nine hours. I will be checking it throughout the time and kind of stirring the corn up just a little bit to make sure it's cooking. Okay, so here's the finished product. Um, this is kind of what it looks like. We put it in here. I know I had said that our direction said around nine hours uh, based on our location, but realistically, we ended up letting it run uh, for about 13, 12 to 13 hours. So definitely keep a check on it because it can vary on your location. For us, I'm thinking it was our weather, but this is how it ended.